Actually, no, like in real life. No. Where I show you clips and pictures of my real actual life. Taking it back a few weeks now to when we went to Big Bear for our friend's birthday party. So, I'm in a cabin in Big Bear. That's how we do, you know, what, what, that's how we do. Occasionally I will hype man my own self. So we're in a cabin at Big Bear, which is up in the mountains in California. It's like three hours from LA. And I've never been here before. I've lived all my life in California and I've always wanted to go to Big Bear and I've never been. So um, it's our friend Matt's birthday. And for the weekend they decided to rent a cabin and have like, eight people all stay in the cabin. It's like four different couples and we're like all friends with all the couples. So it's really fun and we get to actually hang out with each other without being in like LA. Which sometimes in LA, it, it's very isolating. It's a city of a lot of people and then you kind of like keep to yourself. But when you're outside of LA, you just hang out. That's right, we hang out. What? What? It kind of just feels like I'm having a stroke when I do that. Nikki, you shouldn't make fun of people having strokes. You know what? My grandma died of a stroke last year, and this is how I deal with pain. Look at this. Huh? Check it out, check it out. Cute. Big bear. What is this vlog? This is the view from our room. Holy shit. So when they said they were renting a cabin, I thought it was going to be like a little tiny cabin that's all shitty. Like, that's what type of cabin I'm used to staying at when a friend says, we're going to go stay at my cabin. It's like never a nice cabin. It's like a... It's like a makeshift built in the 50s, like wallpaper on the walls, like probably haunted cabin. But this is so nice. This is like way nicer than most hotels that I've stayed at. Um, this is our room. It's messy because it's our room. Steve and I are not really good at cleaning things. This is our bathroom. There's five bedrooms in this cabin. This is right outside the room as a game room. This is like the loft area. It's like a central space. Um, there's another bedroom and there's another bedroom, and there's a bathroom that these bedrooms share, um, a wet bar. We're not allowed to have any of that alcohol, but we brought our own alcohol, so we don't even need your alcohol, it's better. This is, ow. There's a, this is a thing that you hit your head on and it's really fun. This is the living room area. This is another bedroom, an office area. We're not allowed to use that computer, but it's okay, we have our own computers, it's better. Wanna be my vlog? I know. He doesn't want to be my vlog. This is the master bedroom over here. It's not our room, but this is um Rebecca and Matt's room. I'm snooping because it's so cool looking. They got a bathroom in there with a big ass bathtub. I would show you, but I don't want to invade their privacy. What if they have sex toys in there? And I'll never unsee them. This is the kitchen. Hey! hey. Oh, it's a party. I'm sorry, I dropped some. Oh God, <laughs> thank you for um, the thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really sexy when you grab your back like, ow, ow. <laughs> well, I was trying to be sexy and then it hurt. And I was like, ow, it took blog Lottie's workout glasses. I feel like I that's know. your whole brand. I'm trying to be sexy and it hurts. <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurt. Oh. It's just uncomfortable for everybody that watches. Have fun. And that's the brand. Subscribe to Nikki Limo. <laughs> I think it's sexy. <laughs> I think it's sexy. And this is the cabin husband. Hey, cabin husband. Oh, they're so cute, it's disgusting. No, no we're not. We not. hate each other. We it's fight all the, the time. Is this for the cameras? Is this for the cameras? Oh, yeah. oh, See, yeah. for all for the views, baby. We do all it for the views. For the views. Baby. This is one of two decks outside. Barbecue, nature. This is the nature that comes with the cabin. It's a lot more nature than we get at home, so that's cool. If you want to pay extra, you can get more nature, but we really didn't have that in our budget, so this is uh, the minimum amount of nature that we could get. It's really hot, so probably gonna go back inside. There's no AC in here, but there's a fan, a ceiling fan. So that's that works, that's good. And I think that's it. So today we're going to the lake, which uh, is, is actually, I've never, Never been to a lake? I've been to Lake Tahoe. That's a, I almost lied. I almost lied to you. So we're in a lake. It's gonna be fun. We might um, do like some slingshot thing. Rebecca has too many oh, things. Oh, I'm so excited. She has too many things planned. Too she sent us an itinerary because hey, she doesn't hey. know how to vacation properly. Can you just put the mustache on? We're on vacay right now. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, nobody likes this, Rebecca. Oh, they do. Rebecca also made a- I'm the annoying friend. 
That you love to hate. <laughs> Rebecca also made this. Apparently we're having a tournament that requires <laughs> A tournament of what? <laughs> like, what is she planning? Cat toss. Obviously. Rebecca, we're all There's in so many activities. <laughs> Winner, win so many dinner. activities. Nobody here isn't 30. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Rebecca, we're here for one full day. <laughs> one, That's not true. one day. Cut to the cornhole montage. Cut to that cornhole montage. You know you want to. Cornhole sounds so sexual. Party's getting crashed. We're here at the lake. It took us an hour to get here from the lake cabin. We have a cabin that's five minutes away, but it took us an hour to get here. It's cool. We got some Taco Bell on the way. Um, everything's a blast. This thing is so comfortable. Now we're taking Boomerang because you can't just travel with YouTubers and not expect this. If you travel with YouTubers and don't expect that, I feel bad for you. Think people could just act like normal people? No. People say I need to get a little action. People say my love life is fiction. People say I wouldn't give them no satisfaction. What the heck is this thing? like a hammock for your butt in the water and it holds your beverages. If my husband would bring me a beverage, that would be epic. So you're basically relying on your husband for happiness right now. He's like trying to tell me like he's not a slave. He's, you know, his own individual being. And I feel like that's kind of bullshit. Everyone knows in every single sitcom you've ever seen, the wife bosses the husband around and then they do whatever she wants. Happy wife, happy life. It's on a lot of welcome mats everywhere. It's on a lot of Christmas things that people throw away. It's on a lot of uh, little stocking stuffers. It's on a lot of like cross stitch things that wives, unhappy wives, have told their husbands to do. I gotta go. Pretty chill right now. We're pretty chill. Make it a splash. Make it a splash on life. Happy wife, happy life. Our friend Rebecca is taking us to a really epic park right now. Just a really epic tourist attraction. The Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. <laughs> not the Magic Mountain that I recall Definitely from childhood, not. but not it's close. Year round family fun, but there's a water slide. How do they do that when it's snowing here? Year round family fun. Well, I wouldn't know. It's beyond my imagination. I keep my pants up high and my zipper close. And people wonder why I never get rid of those awesome looking sunglasses that I got off of eBay at a special price. Having some good old family fun right now. I'm with the wife, folks. We're up here we're in the mountains. Having some family uh, fun. On a ski lift in the middle of uh, summer. Yeah, okay, that's where we're gonna. That's about to be us. That's about to be us, baby. Oh shit, baby. Oh shit, baby. Oh shit, Are you baby. scared? Um, of course. None of these it's people terrible. have um, bags or anything. Am I allowed to bring this? He didn't tell me not to bring this. I think we'll be chill. She like totally copied me with my hat. Yeah, right. I had this hat for a billion years now. Like two billion, two billion years. She copied me with and everything then, else. She calls herself Nikki she when she goes to Nikki. Starbucks. When she orders food, she calls herself Nikki. True. And that's a true story. <laughs> true story. And that's not her name or anywhere close to her name. Her she name is V with a V. And she doesn't say Vicky. She says Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why is he doing? Why He's is he doing? defending you? Yeah, so my friend V, whenever she orders food, orders it under the suedo name Nikki. Not just Nikki, but Nikki G. That's the fake name she uses. She stole my exact name. But she's been doing this, I guess, before she even met me. Supposedly. Supposedly, V. If my identity ever gets stolen, I'll know who to come for. And look at this fool. Ah, uh, you look dumb. Uh, you look dumb as hell. <laughs> you look so dumb. You look so stupid. I've never seen anyone look, you look stupid. I've never seen anybody look stupider. Look how cool I look. You look really dumb. Oh, I look cool. Look. He's in the slow lane. All right, here we go. We're doing this. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. I'm filming and I'm doing this. I'm scared. Ah! It's like you're doing this with me. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at those guys. They have no idea. This is so scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, you get the picture right. People love to hate a play no matter wrong or right. What I like makes no difference. As they go, go get a light. I go. Long song. It's a long song. It's uh, day three here at Big Bear. Wait, you have one more. And Get your hat back on. 
What do you think this is? Dude. Dude. You need to be consistent. Being in the woods uh, a couple like days a... really changes you. <laughs> driving in Big Bear, we found an escape room. So we're gonna go do an escape room now. It's just like LA, but in a mountain. We won, we escaped, we got out of the escape room. We're insta-husbands, we're got on the leaderboard. We're killing it, we're killing the game. Dominating Big Bear. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. It's his birthday, it's his happy birthday. It's his birthday, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday! It's a good birthday. Speech! Birthday speech! Birthday speech! All the watches can go to bed. I told you guys I wasn't drunk off yet. But I was the whole time! Oh, we totally played Mafia every single night. It's been fun, Big Bear, but we we gotta go now. Got to go back to the not nature city life. So. Goodbye nature, goodbye outdoor patio. Look at this sign, it's so sad. <laughs> There's two signatures. Bye birthday sign, bye friends. Goodbye stairs that I don't want to climb anymore. Bye creepy photo. Why is this here? It doesn't go with any of the other aesthetic. No matter what you say or do, oh boy you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. And I go. It was so much fun. It was like four days in the mountains away. We we meant to just stay for like one night and we ended up staying for like three nights and it was just really fun hanging out with other couples. It's weird, like once you get married, you turn around and then all of your friends are married. In, in 2015, we had no married friends and now almost all of our friends are married. How does that happen? I always see like TV shows and movies where like all these married couples hang out and like have barbecues and I was like, man, how does that happen? It's never gonna happen to me. I don't know enough people. I'm not friends with enough people. And then, I don't know, one day you just wake up and you are that. You are literally watching someone discover new parts of life, like right in front of you. So yeah, subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. Bye.